Ow. Shitlord. Alrighty. Fuck you too, buddy. I'd like to use the Karthus Curve Greatsword, but I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to get it. Murakumo is not bad, though. The Karthus Curve Greatsword fucks up the Demon Prince's heart, though. It's pretty fucking cool. Alright, yeah, for some reason, he gets up first. Don't ask me why. As long as we... Yeah. As long as we beat him in the startup frames. Oh, cool, we got that too, huh? Ow. Fuck you, buddy. I could actually die here, depending on how frisky the thralls feel. Oh, yeah, of course. Why was I expecting a vertical? That's dumb. Alright, actually, let's hit him. You fuck. I should have rolled. Yeah, plunging attacks are pretty generous in this game, but not that generous. That, that would be dumb. Now, of course, a throwing knife is more expensive, but yeah, I can't be fucked putting the bow on. Give it a sec. Yeah. He's very clever. Man, maybe I'm just going to become Hodrick by the end of this playthrough. Yeah, that will require farming warmth. Hey, be nice, alright? Uh, oh yeah, in case you didn't notice, yeah, that guy's knives totally went for the building. Yeah. Dodge on three enemies, huh? Work on different rules to us. That is one of the things that definitely bums me out about two and three. Um, not to a great extent, but to enough of an extent where it's like most enemies in Dark Souls 1 at least gave you the illusion of, you know, abiding by the same rules. Enemies here, less so. Yeah, this spot's weird. If you fall from that top from here, you'll get full damage. I don't know. Feels like a very thinly veiled attempt to make us make sure we can't fucking silver cat down there. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say the least. Alright. You gotta be careful when you respawn. If you talk to this guy at the wrong spot and you start in front of him, yeah, he'll kind of just run into, into you and kind of aggro at one point because he can't get past. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just a... F yep, there we go. Just a flamestone plate, but I didn't want to have to repeat that. Radio. Time to meet the parry god himself. I forgot how cool that bit with Hodrick looked. Totally forgot that. Yeah, so right ahead was meant to be the catacombs, but... You know. Problems obviously occurred. Walk God, wooden shield, I like you quite a bit. Well, what's happened? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you sane folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? <laughs> yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. 
come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> this pit is for you. Yeah. Uh, Tim for um, the bloodlust, which is pretty rad, and thirty for warmth. A little over the top, I admit, but how oh, bastard sword, Nate. Sadness. You're a cool guy, Hodrick. A little crazy, but a cool guy. I like you. That said, his chest piece with the Alva with the Alva helmet, favorite fashion in this game. Use it for everyone. Pretty decent poise too. All right, let's see. Have we got anything we need to worry about? I got that. I was kind of quiet about it, but I, unironically, well, yeah, actually, what I'm saying, why, why bother fucking saying that? Apparently, the best spear in the whole fucking game. Kind of upsetting. This guy's fun, but kind of shit. What a what a surprise. Once I get my ratio, my armor ratio going, I, I'd like to wear this for a bit. Alright, well, nothing to worry about. Grey Rat is out. Nothing to get off Cornix or Arena. Nothing to worry about here unless I want the chain set. And surprise, surprise, I don't. Yeah, I got plenty of arrows. Let's buy one of these. Heal aid would be handy, but we're not fucking bothering at this point. We'll get some of those later. We'll get those another time too. Ah, uh, just in case it, someone decides to get frisky in the swamp. Two of those. Alright. Gotta talk to you too, Leonhard. And let's be boring. I mean, we got, we've got everything I want. I'm at the per almost the perfect weight ratio. I've got two of my favorite weapons. And I've got this edge lord. I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> if you fancy a proper red eye orb, one uncracked, untainted, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Yeah, so two of my favorite weapons, and yeah that guy uh, we'll kill the dark wraith later one thing I will do is I'm gonna upgrade to plus three because fuck it oh wait can't well shit hey smug all right so not much longer um hopefully I can get a level along the way well what am I saying no shit I'm hoping to get two in fact so I can have one in intelligence to have a chat with Orbeck. I'll do that after the sage though. Man, we got a good weapon for these guys. So let's see, how many do I need? I, I realistically need... Um, 12 in total, so I can make both of these plus 3. Very cool. So, I've got a Nolan Traveler. Oh, while I'm thinking of it... 
a special bone collected by members of the Covenant Mound Makers, discovered in the corpses of, of their victims. Only one such bone is found in the vertebra, and the Mound Makers believe it to be a shackle of the gods. In their minds, each victim is another connection, an addition to the family. And s as such, Mound Makers. Fuck for reds. Is that the equivalent of going fuck, fuck for nicks? Probably, probably. I don't quite understand the gravity of such quote, given, you know, I'm Australian. So who cares, who cares about the nicks over here? We got our own footy rivalries to fucking worry about. Oh, you're surviving, huh? Adorable. Man, in the Cinders mod, they put a, they put some armor right here for Wanderer Coat. It's just the black hand armor minus the, um, the cape. Pretty cool though, but right on the fucking edge. It's my girl. Not the butcher, fuck no. No, I'm talking about the axe, you know, the way more reasonable thing. Friggin' axe. I love thee. Aha. Uh -huh. Poise this. I wish the axe was better, the butcher knife. Brigand axe is fun as hell. It's not quite Dark Souls 2 Brigand axe, but hey. I really do wish this was better. It's cool, but yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, you know, besides having a good axe. Betrayal ahead. Chest ahead. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Brigand twin daggers. They're pretty fun. Not amazing, but they're pretty good on holo builds, I've been told. Because their strength and deck scaling, I yeah, I think they improve, actually. Which is pretty fucking rad. Oh yeah, we'll do this. Probably won't need it for the dogs, but I'll demonstrate it. It's pretty fun. Alright, so, yeah. This is a shard right here. If I can't upgrade both, which I won't be able to anyway, I'm not upgrading either. That just knocks me, um, upper invasion range for weapon level. And I'd rather only have to deal with plus three or fours at worst. Now we'll take this guy out, fuck it. Give him a chance to piss off the crew. They're finally here performing for you. That's uncharacteristic in regards to having not said that in this playthrough yet. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. That whole thing of like... I played through Transformers Devastation and never once mentioned Beast Wars. The other Transformers show I watched first as a child. You know that? Kind of figured I would have mentioned it. Oh yeah, um, by the way, if you hit them hard enough, the dogs just fucking clip through the walls. It's pretty funny. They get through this bad boy, they just die. It's great. Dogs are janky as fuck in this game. Don't know if people know this. Now, let us slowly approach. For the L2. R2. Into two, two handed R1. A Star Wars story. I see. For how sits. These guys are behaving exceptionally nicely today. They're normally way more annoying. They flip out way faster, typically. R1, R1, R1. Storyteller staff. Damn it. Now that'd be worth going to 12 int for. Oh, it's the beacons from that... No, I was going to say overrated. No, 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 of course not. From that movie franchise. You know, the one with the, the hobbits. You know, nerds and... Anyway, here's... Back to my fucking Dark Souls playthrough. How do you do? I am Anri of Astora, unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, 
but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Yes, I do enjoy do doing those stupid camera pans. Thank you, kind sir. See, he bows back. That's totally how that works. Oh yes, Horace. He's not very talkative. I've noticed. Don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. A fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. We are well along the road of Sabiot. We may the next maiden. Let's get a level. And they'll be gone, and we can talk to Cyrus. Yeah, sorry, Anri. Um, we might not end on Lord of Hollows, but I want to keep it open, so... I'm not really going to be helping you with Aldrich. Sorry in advance. Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Cyrus, of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. I doubt we've much to gain blessing. Oh, well, just a hammer at home. This sword is really fucking rare. In case anyone was wondering. You know, who's not acquainted with this game. Hell, the Wing Knight Halberd and the fucking Spear are rare enough. Getting this first try was nut- or well, second try was nuts. Cirrus is cool. We'll meet her later. When she's getting killed by Lucatil's brother. Don't worry, that was fucking sarcasm. We'll get a level in- surprise surprise? Vigor, because there's gonna be a try harder to, I fucking bet. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Ashen one. Okay, cool. Nothing else. Actually, could we get another level? I forget. Oh yeah, totally. Alright, cool. Now the main thing is, I have to off myself a few times on Hollow Out, so Yol doesn't die when we kill the Abyss Watchers. That's the fun part. Alright, we got nothing else to deal with. Grey Rat's in position. Let's go. The only reason I'm not gonna... I didn't get that point of int yet, is because I'd rather um, do that after the Crystal Sage. Orbex meant to go after four bosses with no scrolls. Obviously, that's not going to be a prob. If I was playing by myself and I was willing to record a whole nother hour, I'd be going through Far and Keep proper and getting a scroll first, but nah. We're just going to gun it. Alright, so we can drop there for a soul. There's the Lycanthropes and the, uh, ember, uh, the fucking coal, but fuck that. I'm probably going to get invaded, I just want to get to the bonfire and see what we can do from there. There are a few shards along the way, like right below, but that means going near the water, and apparently that's what triggers it. I mean, being anywhere probably, you know, it being anywhere helps, no shit, but... Okay, an R2 for you fucks. That, that's always the bloody case with you guys. Always the case. So that's six. Cool. We need another six. Come on, poison. Nope. Okay. Oh, you son of a They love fucking doing that right as they die. 
And these guys have a lot of poise for guys with, you know, spears. Kind of annoying you can't get logs and they're just pikes. Which I think aren't good in this game either. I know in, apparently in DS1 they weren't half bad due to like the whole infusion stuff. Like they were actually quite worth it for um, int builds I think I read once upon a time. That's a lot of stats to put in for a caster, but hey. The range was pretty sick apparently. Alright, cool. Now we're going to take... We're going to absorb from tradition walk this way. And observe these chuckle fucks. And we're going to swing around. Ow, you shit. There we go. So yeah, you could see some of that world famous port. Right. So the plan is going to be... I'm not going to sit at the bonfire just yet. We're going to wander on here. Admire the crab. What I want to do is clear out this area so we can have Hodrick and Hazel fight. And by extension, maybe help me against a human. Who knows? Yeah, I'm hoping this is only going to take half an hour. It depends on if I get invaded and have to deal with a big fight. When I was talking about the spiked mace earlier, which boy, I wish I got. Um, there's a particular character I've got who I named Black Metal because edgy. Drake, uh, Drake, um, keep, Drake, keep it. Drake Blood Knight Helmet, Morn's Armor, I believe it's Cornix's Wraps, yep, and Gundy's Leggings. Spiked Mace. Cool character, like him a lot. Cool fashion. Probably not the most poise efficient, but that's the guy I use for my Spiked Mace. And I remember when I was building him up at one point, I ran through here and had a 1v1 with a Spiked Mace user. He was wearing a Frawl Helm. For all, uh, for all mask, and he was actually a pretty cool guy. Wasn't a tryhard for once. Even in these days, that's typically who you find using the frawl mask. Or frawl hood. Ah, oh, you fuck. These guys have poise. While casting. Pricks. Should have used that. You. <laughs> I should have used that as a chance to check if the uh, dagger's still stronger on backstabs. Heretic Staff, better than the Sorcerer Staff at base level, but, you know, what are you going to do? Whoa, at 16 hit. What do you need to use it? Alright, we're going to clear this out. We'll go down there in a sec. Hey, fuck boy. You gotcha. So, yeah, we were just down there. What am I looking carefully at? Okay, I'm not quite sure. I remember back many moons ago watching the best friends playthrough where this entire floor wasn't rendered properly. Shut up. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. How intriguing. You'd better not. Sorcery is not for everyone. And should never be forced. You have your own methods. Sorcery need not be one of them. Don't let it bother you. Be on your way then. You're unkindled. Shouldn't you get back to your duty? Oh. I thought you'd already given up. Well, nothing has changed. You're not inclined for sorcery. It is either a natural fit, or no fit at all. Be on your way then. You're unkindled. Me uncouth never. Me not uncouth. <laughs> now I've made the obligatory dumb quote. On with our way. Yeah, we need ten in. And that guy fucking clipped through the stairs like a motherfucker. What a prick. Well, coming our way. Yeah, there he is. Come on, shit lord. Ah, oh, okay. We're, we're up on this. That's why the uh, soapstone grayed out for a sec. You gotcha. Yep. No escape. Okay, maybe some escape. Come back here. <laughs> ah, crystal gem. There's a reference in there, I think. 
to a show about crystal gems? I don't know. I know there was that one episode that went full Silent Hill. That's the only one I ever really watched. Steven Universe never really gripped me, but... Eh, good show from what I know. I'm, I'm in no position to hate for no reason. That would be dumb. Alright, what'd you drop? Gem... Ah, stuff. That was my second guess, actually. I think those are more common than stuff, but I, than the gem, but I could be wrong. Alright, yeah, we're gonna do the thing. And then we'll take care of the rest. I'm surprised I haven't been invaded yet, because, like, what, we're level 22, plus 2 weapon. We're pretty much prime position to be invaded. Alright, these guys are the exiles. They're pretty rad. I like them a lot. Both their weapons are pretty good. I use the exile curve greatsword on my initial pyro. Who, you know, probably wasn't much of a pyro in retrospect, huh? Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's one of these days, huh? They think they're clever. They think they're too clever for the pit, huh? Alright, I'm trying to not take hits because I'd like to conserve my Estus, should we be invaded. What you ideally want to do is bait the iframes because they can hit you right here. That's what I was worried about. Hey, first death. I gotta watch out for the fucking crab. Alright, new plan. Collect souls. Get weapons. Go back to Firelink. Commit suicide a few times. And then we'll ember up. There's no point embering now if I've got to kill myself a few times, so whatever. Oh well, at least we got the souls. Any items are waiting for us right here. Had a feeling that might happen. Had a feeling. Was hoping otherwise, though. Alright, souls retrieved. Homeward bone. Great, cool. Don't need to worry about invasions, I guess. Okay, here's, here's the plan, here's the plan. I'm gonna run through, grab the poison moss, grab the ragged mask, grab the stone shield, the uh, titanite shards, the prison stones, the acid flask shard, and then we'll fight the dark wraith, get the coal, we'll get iron flesh later when I troll fucking, what's her name, um, pale shade. We'll do all that, like, we'll do that later, but we'll do what I said, and then we'll be on our way. We don't have enough for a jewelry. Damn. No. We have enough for a plus three, which is good enough. Ragged mask, very handy. Full weight ratios, very good. All right, let's pop these on. I got two extras, the normal, so extra good. These guys drop heavy gems and poison gems. In no die need for either because, well, you know, we've got a heavy gem already. So that's cool. And we don't have the coal to infuse it, but that'll change in the next 10, 20 minutes. God damn it. Yeah, here's the plan. I'm gonna clear out all the up area, upper area, do what I need to do, kill the crabs, get the Black Knight, get the coal, do all that shit. Then we'll take care of Hazel, summon Hodrick, you know, then go Merc for Sage. Seemed like good plan to me. Could be wrong, though. Could be awful. Could get into like a four-man fight, who knows. Stone Palmer, pretty cool. Probably not the best for the ratio for the weight ratio, but whatever. God damn it, you slugs. Radio, onwards. To Dick Wraith. Alright, let's heal. Take that, you prick. Alright, come on. Dark Souls 1, poise your way through this, fucker. That's what you get. Yeah, if I was doing this, you know, not as a playthrough, I'd totally just clear the rest of the keep now, but... Screw that. We have two shards. We've got some souls to spend. Ugh, we've got the coal to give Andre. Fantastic. Oh, and I've got to kill myself a bunch. Perfect. So, you know, that's cool. Might make a break in the recording, potentially. 
It's been over an hour. Yeah. There's a chance it'll start to desync, so... Probably best if we just take care of that now. Well, well. What's the undead legion doing with a cold such as this? I'd heard one of the Crystal Sages had sided with Farron's Abyss Watchers. I suppose it must be true. You should know. This cold is imbued with magic. First one I've ever seen. Hardly a surprise, is it? I've never been one for books or wise men. <laughs> I don't know, Andre. I kind of figured your Dark Souls one in, um, characterization was, you know, a little more open to such things, but hey, could be wrong. 244. 254. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what happens. Yeah, for some reason it picks up quite a bit. Hell, that's even better. What the fuck? Ah, uh, Fire Gem will save for the dagger, but yeah. That's cool. Not gonna bother now because heavy infusion's right ahead and that might just be as good. Alright, let's do this. Let's be super boring. We'll start diversifying a little more later on, but. Not quite enough stamina for that combo, but hey. I mean, that's probably asking to be parried, but. What am I gonna do? Be a tryhard? That's stupid. Brigand Axe will probably upgrade at some point, but yeah, get rid of that, get rid of that. I like Great Shields. Not a fan of this, though. Don't like that chip. Oh yeah, Band of a Hawk. Put your glasses on, nothing will be wrong. We got the Brigand Hood as well. The Fallen Knight Helm, or Fall Fallen Knight set. Oh yeah, that's what we picked up back where the Giant was. Pretty good stuff. Like I said, I like that a lot. The mirror set, which is Lucatel's stuff from Dark Souls 2. Yeah, we got some good armor to mix and match, but, you know, I don't really need to worry about it right now. Get rid of this, because we're not casting miracles for the foreseeable future. All of these are worthwhile. Cool. I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to suicide a bunch. On camera, and I'll just cut it up. I'll splice it up together. And then we'll get back to the swamp. Swinging my weapon with reckless abandon for no fucking reason. Where is it? Hold on, this is important. We need to go back to Cornix. Alright? Give me a sec. Down we go. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> Your armor is sick. I'm gonna be over leveled as fuck when I fight the old Demon King so Kirkless doesn't die. Because <laughs> you have to use the summon to get his set. It's kind of annoying. And a spotted whip. Anyway. Don't worry, I don't use this in invasions, but. I'll make exceptions for tryhards. Who will probably kill me, so I never will. Radio. I'll catch you in a bit. What's a dying ahead?